All right, class, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my normal pen color out. Okay, we're going to talk about mass effect problems. This is how you're going to solve these problems. And let's go, I'm going to do one example. I'm going to show you how to do it. And I want to make sure you follow the step by step on how to do these. So my example have vanadium 51. Vanadium has um, 23 protons and 28 neutrons. So remember, so the atomic number for vanadium is 23. So we're looking at vanadium 2351. Vanadium 51 has a mass. The actual mass is 50.943963. That's a lot. We'll figure this out. We don't have to use all these, but we'll just do it for them. at this point. Here's the day we need, and we'll come back to this uh, this slide every now and then. And so. Here we go, and we don't need this equation. This goes to the other slide. Sorry about that. So, vanadium has what we say 23 protons and 28 neutrons. So, 23 times the mass of the proton 1.0073 daltons. And we're going to end up with a mass of 23.1679. And then we're going to have 28 times 1.008, and I always forget the last number, that's a 7. Multiply 28 times 1.0087, you're going to get 28.2436. So we're going to add these two together. You should come up with 51. Point 4115 Daltons, and that's the mass it should be if we didn't you take up any energy for binding. Now, our initial mass is 51.9439. I'm going to round to 40, and I'm going to subtract the two. If I do that, it's going to be 4675. That's my answer. This is the mass defect. So, quickly, one less protons and neutrons. And I should say, list the number of, number of protons and neutrons like I did here, then multiply number by mass in Daltons. So we take 23 times 1.0073, multiply those together. This is what we did here. Then 3 uh, sum the masses add the two together and we're going to get this value. This is what it should what it should be, this is what it actually is. Subtract. Sorry, I'm touching the wrong. Subtract the two masses. This is what you get. This is the mass defect. It should be positive. So the next part of the question is calculating binding energy. So my mass defect is 0 0.4675 Daltons. And what we're going to do is take that Dalton, that mass in Daltons, and go and convert it to kilograms. To do, the, to do it this way, I'm going to put these around parentheses. One Dalton is 1.66, and I'm going to go back and get the other two digits, 05 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And I'm going to take, the, take these two numbers and multiply them together. 
and you should get 8.7635 times 10 to the minus 28. Remember, this is scientific notation. This is a very, very small number. Then we're going to use Einstein's equation. E is equal to mc squared. So now we're going to calculate the binding energy that keeps the nucleus together. So this energy is equal to the mass in kilograms, 8.7635 times 10 to the minus 28. Speed of light is 2.98 times 10 to the 8th. And we're going to square that. And so 2.98 raised to the 8th, eighth, and we're going to square it. This number actually becomes 8.8804 times 10 to the 16th. And again, we'll multiply by 8.7635 times 10 to the minus 28. And we're going to find the answer. And I'm going to just give it to three digits. That's going to be 6.89 times 10 to the minus 11th, and the unit is joules. And this is, this is the binding energy. This is the energy that the nucleus takes, needs, to keep the atom held together. It may be stable, it may be unstable, but this is the amount of energy it takes to keep it together. And that's the end.